What's the one thing you would do differently about all of college? I would give a fuck less. Like, I would just stop caring. Because, like, who's going to beat my ass? Nobody. 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 <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. What would you do differently about college? Uh, give less of a fuck because who's going to beat my ass? Like, have more not fun me. That that, that's, look at me. <laughs> Definitely not me. Not you. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Well, bro, when that fight... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what they said was kind of facts, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, be, like whatever you do, you should do it on your own terms. You, sh you should do it when you want to, not not just because someone else tells you. Now, with that being said, if that, if your friend is trying to help you out or they're trying to put you on to something, you know, then you know I would consider their advice. Nine times out of ten, though, if it's from a random, you don't you really don't need to pay much attention to it. College party tip number one: Do not pay to get into parties, bro. If you're a girl, you probably won't ever run into this issue because girls mostly get into any party for free. If you're a guy, like, I don't really know how it works at, like, the bigger universities. Like, I heard a lot of the big frats, like, won't even let you in if you're a guy. But if you're going to a smaller school like me, a lot of the frats and the sports houses will try to get guys to pay. And it's really not worth it because half the time you walk in, the party's ass and you want to leave immediately. Or the cops get called and it gets shut down, like, right after you get in there. So you paid all this money to get into a party that you didn't even enjoy. And I'm not going to lie to you, like, if you're a guy and you're really down bad at one of these schools and you really want to get into a party... Maybe pay $5, but nothing more than that. And don't do it every time. Because these upperclassmen know that they can finesse the fuck out of freshmen because they don't know what they're doing. I knew a kid freshman year who got finessed and paying like $40 to get into a party. Do not fall for that. The best thing that you can do is make friends with some of the guys in the houses and then you get in for free. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, don't pay for no parties, right? Because think about it like this, right? Let's say somebody charges you $20 to get into a party, right? Let's say it's a $20 Uber, right? So it's $20 to get there, $20 for the party, and then $20 to get back, right? That's $60 in one night, bro. Like, there's probably like, a lot of moves that, like, you don't even know about for real. So, I would low-key scout out for some moves. Like he said, there might be some functions where you don't even got to pay. You just know the right people. You can just get them for free. Guys in college are not the same as guys in high school, and the sooner you realize that, the better off you will be. Usually when they get to college, they have this newfound freedom. You know, they don't live with their parents anymore. They can do whatever they want. They can do whoever they want. And believe me, they will. Do whoever you want is kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie really awful until I got to college. Best advice is to treat men like research projects. Huh? Find out as much about him as you can before you tell him anything. Stock his Instagram, his Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, tagged pictures, probably the most important part. Find out everything there is to know about this man and still keep him at an arm's length. Because when I tell you I've met next level liars, I knew somebody that had a girlfriend back home and had like six different girls on rotation on campus. And somehow none of them knew. Whether you like him or don't like him, is nothing you could do about him because he's number one. The moral of the story is that men lie. And if you thought they lied in high school, they lie way more in college. Are all of them bad? No. But do not latch onto the first man you meet and always stay like two steps ahead of them. Um, but yeah, safe to say that they don't get better in college until maybe like senior year. Junior in some cases, uh, even then. Look at it, it's kind of like this, right? Like, I think it's, it's a lot of what, like selection, right? So like some dudes, you know, like some dudes like these want to have fun. Like, not even dudes, like, people in general, like, people in general just want to have fun. So I think, like, if you look over something, like, that's more serious, you have to find somebody who is willing to get that program, right? Because you can't really expect some dude who's not looking to have, who's not looking to have a relationship, you know, right now. And you can't expect them to just, like, change like that. So I think, like, what she's talking about is, like, generally okay advice. But, like, I don't think, I don't think, like, you should be taking relationships, like, super duper serious in college. I mean, if you do, I think what she said is kind of right. Like, you got to build a rapport with, like, the other person because you can't just, like, expect everybody to be, like, on the same exact program. Because, like, if you do, you know, you're just going to get hurt. Here's some advice for my incoming freshman, for my freshman next year in transfers and all that shit. Here's his, for, for my boys out there. Advice number one, if she comes to your dorm, if she comes to your room, do not let her sleep in your bed. Do not let, do not do it. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when you sleep with a chick, I'm telling you, do not, whatever you do, do not, do not let her sleep in that fucking bed with you. Do not do it, because I'm telling you, it's going to start some. you won't be mad, I mean, don't do it. Number two, if she is signing into your dorm, or if she signed, or she's being signed in by you, do not have her waiting. Outside, your goal is to get her out that front lobby as fast as possible. You do not want nobody to see her. You don't want no, you don't want no, because I'm telling you, it's going to fuck up your whole mood. I promise you. Do not 
have, if you have somebody coming over, do not have them sitting in the lobby. Get them signed in and get them signed out as quickly and fast as possible. I kind of revealed the second point, to be honest, because, like, I really, because, like, I know this sounds funny because, like, I'm a YouTuber and stuff, but I don't really put, like, I don't put everything, like, out there for real, for real. Like, if I'm just with a check, you know, that stays, like, like, that stays on the low, to be honest. I do like to keep, like, a certain, a certain level of privacy when it comes to that type of stuff. So I, I, I really do agree with that. Number three. Number three. Do not, and this is just some real nigga shit. Do not tell niggas who you be fucking. Do not do that. Because I promise you, you're going to find out you're not the only nigga. And I promise you, when you do find out that you're not the only nigga, you is not going to, I promise you. You might not care, but I promise you, do not do it. Don't tell, do not tell Beth, don't do that. No, don't. Just don't. Honestly, I really like the fact that he's like talking about this. There are some girls like I might be attracted to, but not find out too much, then it's like, eh, I don't really want to mess with this shit no more, right? It can also work the other way around with, with men too. To be honest, you shouldn't really be telling other people what you do with another chick. That's kind of like, that's kind of crazy. If you do decide to do that, uh, try to use like another name for them and also make sure that you tell people that like you actually trust because don't tell no random but like just this other girl you slept with don't do that what is your best college advice my best college advice is that your grades don't define you and that you should put your mental health over everything else and grades should come like second you know just prioritize what makes you happiest what makes you happiest what makes me happiest is being around the people that i love and being in nature and food all right, first of all, listen, the player build, we, we've seen that player build before, but she cool. You know what I mean? The, the, drip, the drip is hard, though. The drip is hard. Her personality is tough. And all services, though, like, really try to focus on, like, strengthening your mental first before anything else. College is kind of like the time for you to grind. It's the time for you to grow and work hard. But at the same time, though, you can't neglect your mental. Ways that you can improve your mental. Join a club, play some sports, work out, um, play some video games once in a while, you know, Basically, just do like just do one of your hobbies. That way, you can keep a balanced schedule between school, rest, and leisure time. I think this is especially important for young men because there's not a lot of systems in place to support the man's mental specifically. So we have to find other ways that we can boost our self-esteem and stop ourselves from getting depressed and stop ourselves from going down a downward slope. Here are my don'ts for your college dorm room. Don't get that dormify wallpaper. I can say this because I fell victim into buying it. It could have been my walls, but mine started peeling off a month after I had it. And after I took it down because it looked atrocious from the peeling, it left a sticky residue, sticky residue, sticky residue to my walls. What do you mean by that?